Uh, this is Hannah in studio with Teresa and Stella from Warpaint. Thank you so much for coming in to PBS today. How are you both going? Not too bad. Yeah. I think crawling out of extreme jet lag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Just... Like today's like day one of my life. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Just can start again. I don't know about you. Yeah. Me? Day yeah. one. It's day one for me because I was really hung over yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so. Was that to survive the flight or No, well we were just celebrating a little bit just for fun, but I hadn't yeah. I, hadn't felt, I hadn't felt that way in a couple of weeks, so it kinda of hit me harder. Yeah. Um so the last time you were in Australia was only a few months ago in February, mm-hmm. uh for the Zoo Twilight series. Yeah. But before that it had been a few years since you you had come down to Australia. I think the last time was the laneway, 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm heading back uh, into the bush for Meredith Music Festival on Friday uh, with a new album, Heads Up, mm-hmm. uh, which is much more like kind of upbeat and energetic. So just wondering what the festival goers can expect from your set. Mm. Um, well, I think we play a good combination of old and new stuff. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, so it, the new stuff ties in really well with the old stuff that we've played. Mm. And I think our show is pretty, I mean, energetic and upbeat. And it's pretty yeah. good. We, do, <laughs> <laughs> we don't tend to play any of the slower Billie Holiday things yeah. or teas or I don't know. Yeah, nothing but, too emo. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I, it's, I'm a sucker for emo. Yeah. So <laughs> we are too. <laughs> Yeah, it's sort of like it's woven into the the groove, at least, especially for the live sh- live shows. Mm. Yeah, cool. Um, well, you're playing on the Friday nights, um, which is the night I'm especially excited for. Who and else they, is playing? I've order, also never been yeah, to Meredith, so yeah, I'm really yeah. excited. The order of the bands is like Aldous Harding, oh, ESG, great. which oh, is Oh, my God. Huge. <laughs> That is amazing. We um, saw them once before and it was I'm so weird. I'm beside myself. <laughs> can't believe it still. And then it's like total wow. control. And then war paint. We're, so oh, my God. That's sick. It's pretty jam-packed. Um, yeah. Who else We're, are you are buzzing to? Are we playing after total control? You're playing after total control. Oh, that's going to be weird. Um, They're intense. You'll really? love them, actually. You and Max will love them. <laughs> um, well, I mentioned before that your self-titled album that you released in 2014 is a little more sensual and experimental, mm-hmm. um, which is why I love it so much. <laughs> um, whereas Heads Up uh, does still retain those like down tempo, trip hoppy elements, but does dabble a little more into pop. Mm-hmm. Um, was there anything that prompted that change? Or? I think that we, uh, as we're getting better at writing songs and um, crafting a an arc to a piece Mm. I think well at least for myself I tend to go into a more concise structure and Mm. um that's not to say that that means the song is more well crafted or something I I mean I like it when things have long intros or take their time or have long outros or instrumental parts and or just don't have the a b a b structure you know but um I think that works for us just kind of honing in the long windedness a little bit and not being um, so indulgent feels like maybe in the past, sometimes we've been indulgent and and added too many ideas to, to one piece. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes, I don't know. It's hard to say what, what makes you drawn to the things you're drawn to as you evolve in the way you write. But um, yeah, I think that's just where we're all going. Yeah, so. I think I read as well after you released Warpaint, the self-titled album, there was a bit of a strain on the band because of how much time you were spending together and touring that album. Do you think that sort of had an influence over that change of sound, like needing a revamp or needing to just sort of like refresh a little bit? Or yeah, I mean, yeah, I think maybe being a little bit lighter in our content yeah. and... And having more fun, which can, which means yeah. like being more dancey because or upbeat, just because when we're playing live, it's actually really fun to play the dancier songs. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, personally, I could go that direction even more. Mm. Mm. It's like releasing the, a pressure valve. 
or like a mm-hmm. spit valve on a trumpet a little mm-hmm. bit. There was like a lot of, it was kind of quite inflated how much, <laughs> yeah. how much drama and energy and sometimes like just intense emotions were building up over time. And yeah. then the end of that was, it's kind of, we were very honest about where everyone was at mm. in terms of wanting to continue or not. And yeah. that those kind of moments can tip you into a new phase, even though it's yeah. quite painful being honest and, you know, saying you're not happy or you're tired or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I think that can lead to either a breakthrough or a breakup. Mm. And for us, I think it turned into a breakthrough in a way, yeah. at least enough to 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 make something that was uh, like markedly different mm-hmm. at least to us the way that we did it the process and the stuff that came out was really yeah. pretty different cool mm-hmm. we usually write in a room with each other we kind of for the, for the self-titled record we went away for a month which is kind of inconceivable at this point oh, i know we went to the desert and kind of wrote all this stuff together and um and it was amazing and there's a, an alchemy that is there and the music that we make in that setting is so different to what it's like if we're individually in our studios making stuff on our laptops or in in Mm. our homes and then bringing it to everyone else and having everyone add to it it's just it just kind of creates a different sound even yeah yeah Mm -hmm. well like other fans i'm sure i really enjoyed exploring that different side to war paint in Mm. heads up and in a way do feel a bit closer to the band hearing your musical influences Cool. kind of shine through more on that mm. album songs like dre and mm-hmm. those mm-hmm. more elements of r&b and hip-hop coming through mm-hmm. is that reminiscent of the music you were listening to when you were making the music or was it more of just like a natural step forward into where the band was heading i think just a natural step and yeah. the r&b and hip-hop have always been an influence on yeah. all of us you know as well as many other styles of music mm. and mm. so um I mean, at some point it's going to come through, you know, I think. A little more obvious. Yeah, a little yeah. more. <laughs> and coming up next year, of course, you're going on tour with Harry Styles. Yes. <laughs> um, how do you feel about going into those shows? Quite a different demographic that you're playing to as a, um, you normally would be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I think, excited. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's rare for us i mean we've been a band at least i've been in this band for eight years now yeah. and the band has existed for 14 you seldom have an opportunity to experience something that you really have no there's no precedent for it mm. or there's no like reference point like oh yeah touring with harry styles in asia will be like when we toured with um, Britney Spears in Vegas in 2008. It's like there's no – we have no, no reference point, no context or yeah. anything. It's just like we've toured with so many different bands, but they're kind of in the same world. Yeah. And so I think it's really exciting for us to just be thrown into an experience that's really different and and yeah. challenging in a way yeah, because, because we can't really prepare for what it's going to be like. Yeah. 